Jack, have we got any questions come through yet? Or we, we do. Still... We've got a few. So a few people have been asking you, Mike, what is your opinion on Dawn Butler? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Dawn Butler, one of our hardworking public servants who... No, um, no so she, she's interesting. She's um, obviously a very... A, I was going to say very divisive figure, but I would say she's more of a soft divisive figure. Um, sort of like David Lammy, not as bad as some of the Black Lives Matter activists. Um, because at the end of the day, you know, they're now part of the establishment, people like Don Butler. Um, she's clearly had her own agenda. Everybody, most people know what happened recently when she was stopped, you know, in a car by the police. At first, she claimed that, you know, she was driving, then Obviously, she wasn't. Uh, then she said that they got stopped because uh, they were black. Uh, and uh, then we found out that the windows of the car was completely black. So you can actually see who's in the car. Uh, and so the police, obviously, and the driver wasn't actually, apparently the driver was mixed race, but he wasn't. Obviously, he didn't seem as dark, probably like lighter than me. Uh, and uh, so that's the whole thing. And the people like her are hypocrites and they are opportunists because they try to basically take advantage of any incident to turn it into uh, some sort of tribalist and divisive battle, whether it's based on class or skin color or gender. I think it's very telling with the whole Dawn Butler situation that she's not allowing the police to release the body cam footage as well, which could either prove her story if it was institutional racism or essentially <laughs> undermine it. <laughs>